Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites, and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog, or your wish list, or your now playing list, or whatever you're doing out there. We're going to try to add to it, okay? Because that's what we do every single time. And I'm going to argue with you. We won't argue, you know, like in a hostile way. But I'm, I'm going to argue that we do a pretty good job of that. Most of the time, if not all the time. If you like rogues, I'm so glad you're here with us because that is all we play. So thank you so much for being here with us. I uh, will be your host for the video today. I am the goat with a, what feels like a three million pound elephant standing directly on my nose. Yes, that's right, folks. I recently took a trip up north. We'll talk a little bit about that throughout the week. But I came back with, uh, you know, an unintended gift of a head cold. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you something about head colds. They suck. All right? And now you know. And now you know. But that's okay. That's okay. Because I think... I think I'm right around the corner to getting to the healing. You know, that, that sweet, sweet healing phase that you look forward to. You know, usually comes in a dream. Have you had that dream where... You're laying there and, you know, the window is, is open and you're like, oh God, I left the window open. But then all of a sudden that cool breeze comes flying through the window and you're looking and you're like, what is going on? And all of a sudden a nose flies through the open window, riding on the breeze and the nose is nostrils are wide open and you can tell it's taking the best breaths it it has ever taken and you're just immediately so jealous but then you wake up and you're like oh my god the curse is over i can breathe again it's beautiful it's beautiful so i think i think there's a good chance that uh tonight i could have the nose dream I know you know the dream. Don't don't sit there and act like you've never had the dream. Like, what is he talking about? The nose dream. It's right around the corner for me, and I'm very excited. So, you know, um, that's where we're at right now. We got, we got a little bit of a head cold going on. You know, might be affecting uh, the brain and the words coming out, but that's okay. We're just going to... We're gonna let it roll, we're gonna let it fly, we're gonna get a little bit silly with it out here. That's okay, that's all right, that's all right. You're along for the ride, we're hanging out here, we're drinking coffee. You know, I am not currently drinking uh, from my my new bags that have come in. Some of the, the wild and wacky flavors like What the Fluff, cotton candy coffee, of all things, right? What mad science. Uh, and the reason being is I can't really taste much right now, you know, because head colds. We're just going to be doing advertisements for head colds uh, throughout the, the situation today. Um, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I've got, uh, you know, what I think is, is still a, a good cup. Now, I couldn't tell you for sure because head colds. But um, I am drinking my, my roast from Finland, and I'll tell you what, I think I'm enjoying it. All right, so uh, cheers to you, per usual. I, I hope if you're drinking something, you've got something nice in your cup, and I hope your nasal passages are quite open and feeling fine. Okay, all right? I'm not jealous, you're jealous. So um, cheers to you, for reals. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a nice run today, and this is this is Vikings meets Bullet Heaven, and I gotta tell you, it is wonderful. And you know what else is really wonderful? Our community. 
We have the greatest community in all of the interwebs, and uh, I, I will. I'll fight you on that one, okay? Um, I want to say a very special thank you to Rob Thomas. You know, Rob and I were talking in the comments the other day, and Rob had mentioned that, you know, Nordic Ashes had a really cool update. And I said, hey, Rob, you know, I, I demoed that game a long while back, but then, you know, it came out in early access and it just kind of got away from me, you know? Um, but it, it's definitely one that I want to get to. And, uh, you know, Rob turned around and, and gifted me a copy of the game. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much again to Rob. That's really, really tremendous of you. It was totally unexpected. I was actually at the gym on the uh, stair climber and, you know, you get the notification on Steam. Hey, you know, a friend has gotten you a gift. And I thought, oh, wow, you know, and uh, a really nice surprise. So thank you to Rob. And I'll tell you what, uh, because you did a really nice thing. Uh, we're going to do a really nice thing here, too. And so I am always happy to say that this video the one you're watching right now you're thinking geez go we took a long long while to get to it this time for the the rating yeah i did i took my time because head colts this video that you are watching right now is rated g for, for giveaway. giveaway all right all right good stuff good stuff so we're gonna pay it forward we're going to pay it forward, and we're going to give away a copy of Nordic Ashes to one of you. Just be subscribed, leave a comment, and we will pick one of you to win a copy of the game. Any comment. Oh, man. Don't comment about that run, though. Okay. But hey, we did get a leaf, and those leaves can be used in the meta progression area, which we're going to go into right meow. So, we're going to pick a winner on May 25th, so get your comments in, get your subscribes in, if you're not already. Alright, let's see what we got here. This is a ginormous tree, and... That's awesome. Get a blue heart when you reach Noki's Realm. I will show off Noki's Realm. You know, that uh, that run that you were just watching, that was more of a warm-up run. I know I didn't announce that in the beginning, but it was. It was, it was more of a warm-up run. We're going to start with some gold, I think. Let's do that. All right. So now that we're warmed up, we're going to do the actual run at this point. Again, we were just showing it off a little bit. And, you know, I think we'll go ahead and uh, try Half Grim out, too. I, I haven't uh, played as Half Grim, and Half Grim looks interesting. He actually looks angry, which I think, um, you know, is quite fitting for the head cold situation that's, that's going on right now. I do like that this game is set up in a way where uh, as we level up, which, you know, as I'm thinking about it now, I, I don't think I did a great job of leveling up last time, but as you level up, you go into the other screen and you choose your upgrades. In fact, I think I totally blew it and, and that makes sense why we didn't have a great run that time. But I like the fact that each character has its own set of skills it's it's a little bit more rpg that way uh as opposed to you know every time you pick up enough pips you're going to uh you know grab a random ability your abilities are kind of set in this way um that's nice i like it all right that's wow that's a lot of that's a lot of level ups all right, let's spend some of these. So let's go with that. Let's do one more. We get an extra projectile there. Uh, let's go with some burn damage. That sounds quite nice. 
This is a new ability over here. Orb magic tool. Let's um let's head out towards this. Converts 25% of your cooldown to damage. Wow, that sounds cool. Alright. Alright, we've got one left, one point left, but this is gonna require two. Status duration, zero to five percent. Let's do that. Okay. Awesome. See, this is a better run already. So, I mentioned that we took a trip up north, as they say in the up norths. Went up to Minnesota. I am taking each of my kids on their own trip this year. They get to decide where we're gonna go. And so my daughter decided that she wanted to do a water park and she wanted to do an indoor water park of all things. I know, we've got to level up, we've got to level up. We will, we will. I, I won't forget this time, I promise. Um, let's take this guy out and then we'll level up. Okay, perfect. Let's see what this is. Creates three shards. Each time you take damage, a shard will break. When all three shards are broken, you will unleash a magic power that will grant for 30 seconds, plus one blue heart. Okay, all right. Seems like it's worth the cost of three. Freeze status effect now has a 50% chance to apply burn damage. Wow. Okay. Oh, so this is what does the ice damage. Um, let's see if we can get to that. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's put one additional point in there. Excellent. Oh, that's cool. All right. So... I said, hey, why don't we go up to Minnesota and we'll do their indoor water park, which used to be called the Water Park of America, on brand with Mall of America. Uh, but then Great Wolf Lodge, I think, turned around and, and bought the park and, you know, put their wolf branding uh, all over the place. and. You know, so we said, hey, let's let's do that. So what we're gonna do is talk about the food because the food was great and you know what else was great? The head cold kind of let up uh, during the early part of the trip. And so, you know, I could taste all the foods, which was great, so. Rather than talk about all the intricate pieces of the trip and, uh, you know, getting hit by all the children in the water park, there's nothing like getting a, a child's leg right to the face. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you don't even expect it. It's quite invigorating. So, um, the first night, we went to a restaurant that I would describe as being kind of an upscale gastropub type experience. Let's apply some points here. You know, I'd like to put one just in the general. We get two more projectiles. Uh, let's expand the area and let's go. Ooh, electric magic. That sounds nice. Uh, what is this? Increases plus nine damage to fire, ice, and... Oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, what do we have here? We've got one more point. This is going to cost two. Let's go with that. Help us level up a little bit faster. All right. So. A little bit more of an upscale gastropub experience. We walked in, and it was packed. Now, you know, when you're an out-of-towner, you're like, well, we can get on Google, and... Uh, see what's what. And so we did that, and this place looked really good. When we got in there, though, it was packed to the brim with people, you know? And so I knew that was a good sign. Now, the hostess had said, oh, you know, it's going to be uh, up to 45 minutes. Wait. 
And I looked at my daughter and I said, well, you know, I think this place is going to be worth the wait. I, I think we should do it, actually. And she was totally on board with it. So we sat down and I'm telling you, five minutes later, they're like, okay, all right, we got, we got a table for you. And you're just like, holy cow. All right, we're going to use this doohickey we've got. I fired it off. I, I think it does maybe extra fire damage, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what that card did. Oh, we've got another item now that's usable. I'm guessing that would maybe give us health back? No, no. There's probably a way to find out, but I think it's more fun to just experiment, you know? So we sat down and started taking a look at the menu, and it became clear very, very quickly. Ooh. Defeat a boss having one red heart remaining or less. So we unlocked some kind of relic. Oh, we get to go to the Noki realm. Awesome. So we got a ton of level ups. All right, let's apply some capabilities here, shall we? Paralyzed enemies receive plus 25% more damage. That seems worth it. Uh, let's unlock this. This is going to be our fire magic. So let's do this. Add duration. We'll get the fire magic unlocked. And I don't know that I want to do our ultimate ability yet. Let's keep putting points in our main staff here. So that's at level 7. Let's go one more. That leaves us one point. Um, let's see. We can't do that. We can do this. Let's do that. And we got to grab this. Now that is going to allow us to mutate a weapon into its ultimate phase. I think we should do the magnesis boost. Let's do that. Noki's getting paid off. All right, so let's use whatever this is. I don't know what that did, um, but that's okay. That's all right. That makes it fun. I swear there was a, a health vial right there, but I, I think it I think it disappeared. Maybe that's okay. All right, now I think we can use the Magnesis at any time that, you know, we think there's enough random stuff on the ground. What we need right now, though, is a health file. Perfect. All right. Why can't we pick that up? Why are we not picking that up? All right. I'm not sure why we're not picking up the health that was sitting right there. I'm sure there's a good reason for this. Maybe I've screwed something up. I don't know. Um, it's it's very possible. Let's see. Status duration. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Why don't we go with... We only have one point. Um, I guess we'll put it in there. Why not? Okay. You know, I wonder if it's because of the, the crystal thing that we have. I'm not sure. I'm still learning the game. Uh, don't know what that is, but one way to find out. So it became very clear that we needed to get an appetizer because they had macaroni and cheese balls that are deep fried and... They had bacon in them as well. And so we put in that order and, you know, the presentation was super, super fancy on it, I, I have to say. Um, you know, I wonder, oh, so we had full life. We had blue hearts. That was the situation. Okay. Blue hearts must be the temporary kind. Interesting. All right. Oh, it's getting a little bit crowded in here. It's getting a little bit crowded. Oh, man. All right. All right. I like the sound those hearts make when they break. 
All right, perfect. So. These things were just packed to the brim with cheese. Uh, it was very gooey. They were super fresh. You know, sometimes you order something at, at a restaurant and, uh, you know, to quote the great Gordon Ramsay, it, it's tell the food's been dying in the window. I want this. I, I, oh, oh, we don't have enough gold. All right, all right, we don't have enough gold. That's okay. Uh, let's see if... Oh, boy. All right. This is getting tough, man. I kind of want to hold out so that we can get this to level 10. Because if we can, we can evolve it with this crystal. But that might be a lot to ask. I don't know. Macaroni and cheese bites came out with a Chipotle ranch dressing. It was phenomenal. Oh my goodness. All right. We got another boss. We got another boss that has entered the scene. Oh boy. Uh oh. We are coming down to it here. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. All right. All right. These crystals are saving our behind. Holy moly. All right. We need to take this dude out right away. Let's use whatever this is. I know I'm running from him and I should probably face him head on, but the horde is making that difficult. Hey, there's a treasure. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of solace here. I think the cooldown might be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So then it came time to take a look and, and figure out what we wanted for the main course. My daughter doubled down on the macaroni and cheese. She liked it so much. But the meal version came with a spicier version uh, with andouille sausage I of course tried it it was amazing can confirm all right we need to we need to upgrade here so that's gonna cost five next time but then we can evolve it if if we make it if we make it if we can take this guy out I think we'll have a good chance here oh dang it Okay. Well, we still have a floaty crystal, which I, I think is a good sign for more blue hearts. And there's a potion laying on the ground here as well. No, you're not getting us this time, sir. So Minnesota is, I would say, known for beef and burgers and you know a, a very specific burger called the juicy lucy which we'll talk about next time because we did go with one and it was incredible preview okay this is great this is great 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 timing okay 10 points so we're gonna absolutely upgrade this we are also going to ascend it Yes, split magic. Each magic projectile that impacts an enemy divides into two smaller ones. Wow. That's awesome. All right, what does this do? Increase plus five damage of all relics that are magic tools. Yeah, I, I think 
I think we want to do that, right? Let's see. Are there any other... We have the abilities so far. So... Maybe we should... Oh, wait a second. Increase plus nine damage to fire ice. Oh. Yeah, that, that seems like a good thing to do right about now. Now, we've got another one of these, too. So, we got to figure out which one. Maybe we'll go hog wild with the electricity and think about ascending that one next. Um, what do we have here? Burned enemies have a 25% chance of throwing one fireball that deal eight damage. Oh man, I wish we had the money for that. I'm gonna hold out and, and try and save for that. Okay. So, I went with a Blackberry Brie cheese curd burger. So these were cheese curds made out of brie. This thing had blackberry jam and bacon on it. With the brie cheese curds. To say that it was a sloppy burger is a massive, massive understatement. It was incredible. Extremely juicy. I'll admit, I, I did decide to eat it with a knife and fork after I got halfway through it. It, it, was, it was a sloppy experience, but it was phenomenal. Just loved it. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm a fan of the salty and sweet combination of foods. And so I'm always delighted when I'm at a restaurant and I ask them, hey, do you have root beer products? Because not all of them do, you know? They had they had root beer. And it paired so nicely. Hey, we got Brunost. What is that? What is the Brunost? I thought I thought it was gonna show. Oh, here here we go. Here we go. What does this do? Adds one full red heart container. Yes. Okay. That's great. Nice big wedge of cheese. So not only did they have that hey i want i want this too butter cookie yes we got another one another heart container tremendous everything's coming up aces so not only did they have root beer the waiter said yeah we have root beer but it, it's a fancy root beer is that okay yes it's okay it's very okay and I gotta tell you, it was it was very okay. All right, so we've hit the 20 minute mark. Now we gotta go up against Lord Ragnar. Let's uh, let's keep our distance from old Lord Ragnar here if we can. Uh, I I think this is gonna go okay. I, I got a good feeling about Lord Ragnar. Oh oh boy. All right. All right, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, all right. Hey, another leave? Three more leaves? Conquer Midgard in normal mode. Okay, difficulty unlocked. Try attack, use the... Nope, not gonna do it. Staff, split magic ascension. Conquer Midgard in normal mode or higher. All right, unlocked Alfheim. We got the win, folks. How about it turns out when you use your upgrade points? It works, it works well, works really well. Hey, this is a game called Nordic Ashes. And I wanna thank Rob Thomas again, our uh, tremendous community member for gifting me a copy of the game to try out on the channel. It is awesome, I love it, and uh, we're paying it forward. So, 
We're going to give away a copy. Be subscribed, leave a comment, and I will pick one of you on May 25th of 2023 to win a copy of the game. Very exciting, right? Right? I think it is. I think it is. Giveaways are awesome. You're awesome for hanging out here and allowing the channel to make revenue that we can then pump right back into the community and give away games. It's tremendous. All right. So let's do this again sometime out on that Goat Force gaming channel that you've heard so much about where we play roguelikes and roguelites. And uh, you know what else? We'll give away a game at least once a week because that's awesome. We'll see you again soon, okay? You take care out there. Don't get a head cold. It's not great. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. But that's okay because the, uh, you know, the whole uh, nose comes flying in through the window. Remember? Remember? That's right around the corner for me. We're, we're, on, we're on the come around. I can feel it. All right. You take care. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.